So I'm getting ready to photograph one of my most difficult targets to date, and the city shut me down. Alright, it's not as bad as it seems. What the city did is they maintained the hill behind my house. I live on a hill where I have pepper trees on the other side of my fence and the city comes every two years and they trim out those trees. So I planned to capture Thor's Helmet Nebula on a new moon. I was waiting for it to be totally dark and my backyard gets pretty dark. So I was ready to go. I wake up in the morning, I look out my window and this is what I see. These guys aren't kidding around. They are taking off some serious tree. That kind of looks fun. Well, they are done and I got my telescope ready to go. That used to be a wall of pepper tree leaves. I couldn't see the sky through there at all. So now they've come out here and trimmed the heck out of it. The problem will be that street light right there. That is gonna cause me some problems. So here's what it looks like. The new trimmed backyard. It's gonna be good and it's gonna be bad. Now I can't complain because it's quite expensive to trim those pepper trees and I should be glad that the city's doing it for me, but my backyard's a really dark place to take astrophotography. Unfortunately, now that those pepper trees have been trimmed, I have three street lights from outside that shine right in and my backyard feels like it's the middle of the day, even when I'm shooting at the middle of the night. So this target, Thor's helmet, is going to become that much more difficult, but I'm going to give it a shot. Time to get started, getting the computer started up over here. Telescope's ready to go. Sky's starting to darken up, but not quite yet. A few minutes, we'll get this thing going. Well, here's the bad news. They've trimmed my trees, and I've got a ton of light pollution in my backyard now. There is no moon tonight, but that guy right there is throwing all kinds of light into my backyard. You shouldn't be able to see my telescope right now. Look how bright that thing is. Good news is, I'm knocking it out of the park on my, on my tracking SPHD2 and I've got that thing locked in. I mean that's as good a chart as you're ever going to see so perfectly happy with that. That part's going well. I'm going for Thor's helmet and that means that I'm going to have a, a hard time because I didn't even put a filter on tonight because I knew it was going to be a new moon. I didn't expect him to come out here and trim my trees well they're serious right there so Thor's helmet's just right above it that's where we're locked in here's my house so you can see how much light pollution I'm dealing with tonight and it is ridiculous but again I'm loving that I haven't been guiding very long so to get a guide that looks that good I'm very happy with that 
And here's my new look backyard. It used to be pitch black on a new moon. I got that street light that now comes in because they trimmed out all these trees. I got that street light that's now coming in. It's a little depressing. It's so much light back here. And it used to be such a dark sky. The good news is, I mean, look how dark my sky still is. I've got Bortle Class 5 skies. They're pretty dark. A new moon. We'll see how it goes. They're serious. That's what we're filming tonight right there. The uh, Thor's helmet's just to the northeast. I think it's eight degrees northeast of Sirius. So they're Sirius right there. Just right on top of my house. So you can see I barely got clearance. But at least I'm facing the dark direction away from those lights. Well, here's the beauty of the lockdown. I'm over there taking my photographs and I'm also in a meeting right now. That's really boring, so I've muted myself while I take care of my astrophotography. The beauty of the whole Zoom thing. So yeah, multitasking. Alright, my meeting is over, so I can now focus back on my photographs for tonight. The graph's looking really good. Jumps off a little bit every now and then. This is night two of Thor's helmet. I told you this was gonna be a tough target, and it was. I spent three nights shooting the Thor's Helmet Nebula. I was using a 72 millimeter apochromatic telescope. Really, it didn't have enough reach to get to the target as much as I'd like to, but I was still pretty pleased with the detail that I was able to get. Let me close this video by bringing you my version of the Thor's Helmet Nebula.